Hi guys, welcome back. It's uh, Star Wars Vintage Dude and my manager here, and Dark Jake. He's gonna do a reveal with us too. So I've got another box here. Again, this is a vintage one that uh, I know, probably when I was in the, I don't know, sixth or something grade. It says Star Wars on it in my old kid handwriting. And on this side, it says keep. So don't throw this one out, mom and dad. This is a keeper. And it's in a Miller Lite um, box. I don't know if there's a date on this thing, but if there is, that would give us an idea of, as to uh, when this thing was stored. And I don't know. I don't see a... It says 2412. 2412. <laughs> yeah, 2412 owns bottles. I don't see a date on this thing, but... Oh, on this side it says Dagobah and Jabba the Hut. All right, so I'm expecting... Oh, nine, seven. 497. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well. Anyways, let's open this up. So we got here, we have inside, we do have what looks like Jabba's dungeon here. His um, palace that he sits on that was as big as it got. And let's see what we have here. We do have, oh of gosh. course, Mighty Jabba. Duh. Jabba Nobada. Yeah, here we go. It's Jabba the Hutt. One of my favorite characters. Definitely one of the sweetest. This was an action figure playset that came out. You can see it has a swivel tail. You move Jabba's head and his tail swivels a bit there. And he had a pipe that went right here. This is where Ula was under. They never produced an Ula figure. And if you opened, I think if you twisted one, there we go. If you twisted these guys, the dungeon opened up and inside the dungeon, you've got a bunch of like rats and skeletons and lizards and stuff and a whole bunch of bones. That was supposed to be the Rancor pit. Um, obviously, um, you know, Rancor wouldn't fit there. He's right here. Wouldn't fit in there, but you could reenact the scene. Let's see what's in this bag here. Ooh, we have a bag of mysterious parts. We'll open up that last and we'll see where those go. Here is, oh, here's his pipe and bowl. So this, if I recall, sat right like that. You can pretend he had a frog. Here is this, this connected to it's disconnected, but he had a bowl and his pipe right there. Oh, give me some frogs. And then, uh, oh. All right, so that's that play set. That looks pretty good. We'll move this one over to the side by his buddy, the Rancor here. And then we've got the Dagobah system. We've got Master Yoda's place. Uh, this is such a great set when it came out. I mean, it blew people away. Obviously the foam is, is disintegrated, is deteriorated. You have to buy a like a replacement foam for that. Shaving foam. <laughs> or whipped cream. It was like a foam that uh, actually was like spongy. Oh, wait, really? It was cut in four parts, and you could put like R2-D2 in there or Luke and stuff. These sat, I believe, on here like this. These are little like backpacks that Luke brought and some supplies, and you could use the force. Can you see this? Look at this. This is all... And Luke could put his hand up okay, and use the force. And yeah. And then you can see there's a notch in here. In the notch, you had th this piece here. These connected. And what you would do is, this is his train. When Luke Skywalker would train with Yoda, you could put that through there. You could attach this. And then what you would do is you would put Luke, the figure inside right there, and you could lift them up and stuff, and you could use the force and like lift. Is this that one scene where our two falls into the goo? Yeah, he falls into the swamp. And isn't like Yoda or Ben there or something like that? Yep, that's Return of the Jedi. There is a scene where Yoda and Ben are hanging out, and then in here you could have Master Yoda. He's got his table in there. You can put Luke in there, and here you could reenact kind of like the Cave of Evil scene, and these swivel here. Um, in the swivel pieces, you would put Vader and you would put Luke and they could reenact the Cave of Evil here. So it was a completely cool set. Um, man, just, just again, at the time, this is like state of the art. You had to have this. All right, so those are the pieces in here, but let's go in here and see if we can identify this mystery bag. Because this is probably literally when I was putting stuff away, was just random parts to something. And I was probably like, I don't even know where this stuff is anyway. It's already put away. So let's let's see what we got here. 
This I know is a piece to uh, the TIE fighter. It was Imperial Stormtrooper TIE fighter because it was white. So that's that. So somewhere there's probably a box of those. This is definitely a canopy to the uh, X-Wing fighter. That's probably somewhere in my collection to be, dis to be discovered. Looks like there is another one. I don't recall owning two uh, X-Wing fighters. However, um, you never know. This is a canopy to the Imperial, uh, no, the Snowspeeder. So that goes to that. Looks like it's been damaged. I had one that was good and one that was damaged. My brother's totally destroyed some of them. This was a backpack for the mail away offer. Hoth survival gear. This looks like another um, Snowspeeder blaster. Looks like there's some uh, marker on that one. It's been through a damage. The battery's probably broke and I decided to paint it instead. This went to, these are all the uh, spokes to the uh, A-Wing fighter. So these fit in here somehow. One, two, three, and four. And then the A-Wing fighter, these connected to the rear shaft there and, and would, would create the, um, the complete ship. Here is the other rear piece to that. So somewhere in my collection, I must have the A-Wing fighter. I know I have the A-Wing pilot. We revealed that. This looks to me like a cannon that went to, if I recall, the Imperial Transport, maybe? Um, I know they made an Imperial one. I think they made a Rebel one. I think they made two. I think I only have the Rebel one. And this obviously is a blaster to the uh, X-Wing fighter. I'm going to put that right along parallel with the snow speeder. This is a little Gamorrean guard. He went to a board game that had uh, little cutout pieces. Hey, Darth Jake. How are uh -huh. you doing? He's been misbehaving and eating Legos. Always. So. Always. This looks like part of the micro machine um, or micro collection to the ATST. Looks like it's missing a foot there. And this, of course, looks like something that belonged to a Hoth playset. I'm not 100% sure yet, but probably something that was uh, a lever, something similar to uh, the Dagobah scene. So, hey, this has been a blast. I really enjoyed this. Got my job at the hut. Haven't seen him in about 20 plus years. Yoda's hut, Jabba the hut, Yoda's hut, two huts in one, two for one. We've got a whole bunch of parts here. Hopefully in the next couple uh, weeks or so, we'll continue to, to pull out uh, some vintage toys and we'll piece these all back together and you'll see the complete collection. So if you like this, subscribe, uh, hit thumbs up and uh, yeah, hope you, you enjoyed it. If you subscribe, it. you'll see me and Jake in more videos. So. Darth Jake. Darth Jake, yeah. All right, <laughs> signing off. Hope you guys have a great week. Enjoy life. Hope everything is well.